Dan do my weekly shop at the markets. See? Nice, nice big basket. It's really nice, I think, when you, when you live in an area where you can actually go down the street or to a market to actually to shop because it's it's a kind of streak of that lovely social interaction with the you don't get that you know in those kind of big shopping malls and and reflecting on the fact that Byron has just had its first a big mall approved uh, I was really interested to sort of research what malls mean to communities and did you know that there's actually a link between malls and obesity I know that like like mall rats are fat rats and I think they're also a little bit depressed as well there's a change in people's shopping behavior that happens when they go to those big centers with kind of you have to drive there you park there you go into this artificial world with air conditioning and you know fake lighting and you know whatever they have to have it set up and there's all different variations of the mall now it's just a horrible word isn't it mall it's just an ugly word <sighs> but anyway what they found is that basically the link with obesity is is a real all about overconsumption and it's all and it's quite a really interesting point when you look at the fact that according to futurists the trend now is towards consuming less that will be the future trend, not consuming more. So why are we approving malls and going for these big shopping center type developments when the trend for sustainability is about doing less? Now, this is how it works. If you go to a big shopping center, you park the car, you go in into your weird kind of world built up to make you consume. So you can't tell what time of day it is, how long you've been in there. Sometimes you can't even tell whether, you know, which way is up. I kind of feel like I'm in some sort of underwater world. But you will tend to bog by, which means you will buy more and more and more and more stuff because you will get into the car. It is all about driving and getting more. And the more you buy, basically, the more you consume, the fatter you're going to get. Fat people buy more in the trolley. Now, if you go down to your local shop and you walk, well, straight away, you've got a bonus because, you know, generally you can't park anywhere anyway, so you do need to walk. This is about the biggest a basket you could actually carry to, to the shops, you know, without creating some sort of you know, sort of spinal damage, you can't actually buy more than you can carry. And I think that's actually quite a sustainable thing. It actually helps with the obesity levels as well because, and people who, who shop in streetscapes or markets tend to buy whole foods and not prepackaged foods, which if you shop in malls and big centers, it tends to be all about pre-packaged big sort of food stuff. The interesting thing too is looking at things like social kind of and cultural benefits very little if nothing in mall type situations in street high level of connection and 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 those sort of things so it was really interesting sort of looking at the different sort of social dynamics and you're thinking why i just can't get why who decided that byron needed a mall byron i thought that people came to byron because they came there for the surf and they came there to relax and chill out and be with friends and meet people living more alternative lifestyles i didn't realize they came into shop I mean, I surely you can shop anywhere else in the country. I mean, everywhere has shopping. I mean, now, I mean, how, how many more shops do we need? I mean, is there a point where you have shopped yourself? I just think there is too many shops and creating more shopping is just stupid. You know, there could be tourists standing in a mall one day screaming, you know, who am I? Where am I? What, why am I here? Because you could be anywhere. You could stand in a mall, any mall, anywhere in the country and not know where the hell you are because they're all the same. They have no identity. And they're calling it like a green mall. I just really hate the use of these prefixes of eco and green that you put before anything that's a bit shit that basically isn't eco or green. To kind of give it this kind of thing that it is eco and green. Why? Because it's got a couple of pot plants. What, maybe it's got a solar panel on the roof. Oh, it's using a few skylights. Oh, that's green, isn't it? But the whole concept of pushing over consumption, of pushing more shops in a place that has too many shops is not green. If they were green, they'd just have like, you know, stall of apples or something like that, you know, in brown bags, only sold to people on foot or who are carrying baskets. It just seems so stupid. And I, I do feel for Byron because I have such a, you know, we have such an affinity with the place that we thought, you know, Byron was. That we, It seems like everyone heritage lists old building, but nobody thought to actually heritage list 
the culture of a town, which is, it was about being laid back and chilled out. About exactly the opposite of shopping. It was actually the antithesis of shopping. Going to Byron was about getting away from the world of shopping, not immersing yourself in more shops. We can't need any more stuff. The interesting thing I noted the other day, I've been living in this region for about 25 years, maybe a bit more. And over the years, you know, I've been putting posters up and I was putting posters up for a show I'm doing in Byron for a community college. And in the old days when I walked up and down Johnson Street, I could have 40 posters and I would get 40 posters up in the main street, no problem whatsoever, for a community-based show. The other day I walked up in Byron Street, I couldn't get 10 posters up in Johnson Street and all the other streets, actually the whole of Byron combined. And there's probably now 10 times as many shops. I, I couldn't get 10 up because there, there wasn't anyone interested in anything that was for the community because the community meant nothing to them. What's left in the main street of, you know, Byron now is like a butcher, a news agent, you know, a, you know, a bakery. They're the things that serve as people that actually live there. The rest is just shops on shops on shops. I just think this whole mall thing is stupid. It's like, you know, mall's a bit like what sharks do to you, isn't it? You know, and I think that's what's happened. Byron, as a township, has been is going to be mauled by inappropriate development and will be left, like anyone, like a shark victim, lying on the beach, bleeding out. It's sad, really. I'm off to the shops. <clears throat> bigger the girl you are, the bigger the basket you carry. Oh, here you are. Ooh. There you go.